Good morning. It is a cool three degrees outside. No wind where I'm set up. This island really protected me last night and can't even hear any wind around it right now. Cusk fishing didn't go great last night. Had a couple flags, no fish on. Could have been lake trout that hit. Could have been cusk that hit, just didn't eat. Usually they eat though. Gonna drive some coffee into me. Got breakfast started. I got a couple links of sausage in there with some potatoes. Letting those all kind of crisp and cook up. Then I'm gonna throw a couple eggs and maybe a piece of toast, piece of bread in there to make into toast. And then meet the boys down lake and try to get on some lake trout to do some jigging. Coffee sounds like it's just about done, so we'll try that. Oh yeah, she's done. Nice. Yeah, let's throw that steak in there from last night. Add a little flavor to the pan. Looks pretty edible. Holy cow, what a beautiful morning. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Oh, there's a bald eagle sitting right there. Right there. He's probably surprised to see me. Hi, bald eagle. How's it, how's it looking today? Well, it's, a cold, but it's, <laughs> insane, yeah. it's holding at three degrees. How's it looking in here? Pretty good? Oh, yeah, it's still cold. Nice. Make a hotel. Beautiful. I'll go say morning to the fellas over here. See how it's looking over here. Good morning, fellas. How's it looking over here? 
Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, he's got some holes drilled. This shack is huge. Otter Vortex Resort. Wow, there's a lot of room in there. A lot of different gear for you guys to check out this trip. I drilled a couple holes with my new G2 10 inch auger on my Milwaukee and I got here, I was gonna show the boys how it works and he's missing the dang bolt already. So I looked through the bottom of the sled, couldn't find it, ran back, couldn't find it. So I think it's in the bottom of that sled. I'm gonna have to take everything out, dump it. And hopefully that bolt's in the bottom of there somewhere kicking around. We got no wind right now, but it is going to be coming. It's Sebago. It always blows out here. And when it does decide to blow, it blows pretty high. All right, Brandon, what do you got, bud? Oh, it feels like a decent one, too. Smoke it sitting on bottom. Oh, really? Yeah, there's another one down there. Yeah, I just lifted up. My line is completely slack, and then... <laughs> Took it way over near you and I felt so I set the boat. Is that 74? You said he feels pretty decent? Yeah, he's probably 20 inches. Let's see. I'm pretty sure he's got that jig right down there. He's like, y'all have that. 30 foot. You see him in a minute? Do you see him yet? Yeah, right there. You see all the bubbles? Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. Oh, that nice that. Wow, look at that one. <laughs> That's a good start. Yeah, good job, buddy. Good well, one, bud. Yeah, not a bad one to start. Yeah, number one. Alright, go get bug. Go get bigger. Right off the bottom? Yep, same thing, dead stick. That might be the trick to Oh, nice one. Oh, no. Big pop? Yep. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, he had your rod tip bouncing pretty good. I lost a good one. Nice. I love these rods. There's another one on you. Yep. See if you double up. So he, he hit that one on the chase. Yeah, he chased you up, didn't he? Yeah. About 10 foot. Hey, that other one's all over here. Well, no, I'm going to try to bring him up. Ooh. Got a good one? I don't know, he's fighting pretty good. Nice. Decent one. Yeah, it's a Laker. 20 inch probably? Yep. Alright, got one going. He's got pretty good tug on him. Yeah, it looks like a decent one. Got one on, Joe? Yeah, there you go. Had to break the ice. Oh, yeah. oh no! Oh, he came off. Oh, there it goes. Right there. Oh. Shoot. Dang it. Too Dang it. No lost one. Can we shut the helper off? Yeah, I get it. Ah, guys, that was my first bite. Got him halfway up and decided you didn't really want to see that fish, did you? That's be hit. Yep. <laughs> that didn't take any time. No. Got him. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's got some weight, Joe. Oh, Big one? Wow, yep. Oh. Hope he doesn't get tangled up in your line. Do you want me to pull up? Oh, that, oh no! No! Oh. What is going on with these fish? Oh. I think I missed one while you were doing that too. That was a good one. Did he straighten your hook? Uh, they're getting more aggressive, that's for mm -hmm. sure. 
You want me to shut your message off? You keep fighting. I'll get it. Fish on, Owen. He's, he's down. 40 foot. Ooh, he just went slack. I didn't like that. Oh, yeah, he's gaining weight. He rolled on you. He rolled. He did yeah. the. Did the toe. Oh, yeah, there he is. Decent fish. Yeah, long. Long. So it feels good. That's a good one. That's the biggest one so far. Yep. Nice solid fish. Oh yeah. That hook weren't coming all that time. No. Oh, he's full. Oh, yeah, definitely good. Decent hook. Yeah, good one, buddy. Oh yeah. That's a baby. You still got him? Yeah, that's a baby. That's a real small toad. You caught an L wire? <laughs> he's still on there. That's gonna be like eight inches. Yeah, he's still on there. Wow, that is a tiny toad. CJ, Yo. what size is this thing? <laughs> he's the loudest one. Ten pound of all nighter. Oh, he's puking. Put him back down for bait. He's puking something. Little oil. Pin smelt. Yeah, that was smelt. Yeah. Are you gonna count that one? Well, yeah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. All right, give you a little mid-morning update. We're making a shift. We're gonna try another spot. It kind of slowed down here. I've been taking it pretty easy on him myself. Brandon's got, I think, four top side and has lost two. I lost one. So definitely taking it easy on him. See if we could turn up the heat a little bit and try a couple different spots and see if the bait situation's different on the next spot. Guys, you'll have to bear with us here. Brandon was having some technical difficulties with the GoPro turning it on. It's just a one button push. And I think he was holding it in and then pushing it a couple times. And what that was doing was that was setting it to the time lapse. So there won't be any volume for a bunch of my fish yep. catches and yeah. it'll be choppy on one, a time a lapse a video. So bear with us on these. Yeah. We made a move to the other side of the basin and we're fishing anywhere from 130 to 150 foot deep. So a little bit shallower on this side and I got a little bit of a hot hand over on that side fishing a swim bait on a one ounce jig. I've been working at it to get them. Yeah. But I just got so tired of the crowd. Yeah. Over the other way. And do you use electronics or no? I, once in a while I do, but yeah. like when I'm out here like today, I don't. That was pretty. Cool. Yeah, that's a pretty one. One of them blonde ones. Light colored, red yeah. on the bottom. Yep. He jumped on that. Yeah, I like the hair's more than Look at that. Bird didn't get a, 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 all the way out of me, Marshall. This one's got something in him for sure. He does. He's hard. Oh, it's going to just keep working on it. Huh. Felt like it. Sounded like he did. Oh, this nice little camp you got. Yeah, this thing's working out pretty good. Oh, you need it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's cool, though. It's really cool. Oh, go. Yep, there you go. Well, it looks like a fresh L one. Is it L one or small? No, it's an L one. That's an L one. Yep. Huh. There he is, guys, number three. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a camera up there, we're filming. Oh, God. Good. I, good. I just had a piece of smelt on for bait. Yeah. I got a swim bait. I switched over to this swim bait 
And it's got a ton of action on it. Maybe yeah. they like that movement. I don't know. Yeah. Because they hit the three hits I got were moving. Yeah. And then I got, I don't even know if I. Too, you get down quick. Yeah, but, this is heavy. Yeah, this one's a uh, ounce and a sixteenth. I move. I, I got. Small, uh, I was using something about that size. Yeah. With a Chateau's uh, tail. Yeah. And that was going real good. I saw that little white chartreuse thing you're using. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then I, I, I put a cheater up. I saw that. For the two. Yeah. yeah. When, yeah, that, when that they really good. get finicky, I put that on. Does I it just, work? Yeah, and I put a little swivel in the line. Mm hmm. Up there and just tie it off on that swivel. Oh, well, I got one cheese. Oh yeah, he's got. He's about to get one. Oh, oh. you better hurry because I'm going back down. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you want to fish right next to us? No, no. I mean, we don't mind even a little bit. I'll puff you a hole right there. Oh no, god, it wouldn't yeah. bother us a bit. Well, there's a hole right there. Yeah, fish out of it. Yeah, he just drilled that to the... to check. Feel free. Yeah. Wouldn't hurt our feelings. One forty, huh? Yeah, it's 138. 138. Yeah, that's it. 135, I come out here and I did four or five there a week ago. Yeah. But I had been down that other way for three weeks. Yeah. Down there working out. What's your favorite depth? I I like, I always so you, like that 85, 90. Oh, there. man. I've if, been fishing deep and I think it's just lack of smells. There's yeah, no smells. No. And the smells would be everywhere. All the allies are deep. The elbows are all in the, like, the bottom 40 feet of Yeah. You get that flickering uh, huh. on your fish finders and, and stuff, and, and that's bait. Or you get these, oh, you yeah. get these bullets bait. that come through it, and that's your fish. I'd love to catch one in 80 foot. It'd be a lot easier to catch them at oh, 140. It it's so much work. Yeah. I used to hand line them out here. No right, way! Right in, this, right in this area, and I, I could put I'd put a couple hundred feet of just regular line. Yeah. And then I'd use like a five foot leader, and I'd drop a Swedish pimple down. Yeah. Right on bottom, and I'd just sat on the bottom. Yeah. And I would hammer them. Oh, I got one on me. How long have you been fishing this lake? Oh, most of my life. I'm 74. Are you really? I'm almost 74. Congratulations. Yeah, I. So I've always fished it. Did you get to see it when it had good white fish? Oh man, that must have been awesome. White fish, uh, <laughs> tough to catch. That soft mouth on them, but geez. Yeah. You you get one that's got a small hook, and you need a small hook. Yeah. So they can take it in. Yeah. It gets them inside. Out on that lip, you'll pull it out of them if they've got. If they have three plus pounds, you know. Yeah. Jeez, you once in a while you'd catch a nice five, six pounds. Yeah. I heard it was awesome oh, back in the day. It was. I knew a guy. It's been a long time. Though. Long time. He said he used to drop a can of L, uh, can of sardines down, pop the top, and yep. then the white fish would be there all day. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get to see this lake when it was a salmon lake? Yeah. Like wicked good. Man, what a bummer, huh? Yeah. No, about the last good salmon fishing was five, six years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Great Pete, good luck to you. Good luck to you. Have a great day. I might come out, though. I might walk out this way another yep. day, even tomorrow. We're going to be out next three or four days if you see us. Yeah, okay. Say hi or fish with us. The, the other shack's got enough room for more people. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Brandon didn't like me out fishing them in this spot so we're gonna make a quick move <laughs> no he, he's got another spot right over there he thinks there's some fish over there so we're gonna make a little move and see how we do whoa how's it going over here fellas Nine. You look comfortable. I am. Yeah. Nine, we're getting trimmed hard, bud. Yeah. These guys are killing us. Yeah, we'll, we'll need two more. Well, we've had them. Yeah, we've lost. We've marked all kinds I've of lost fish. two. You lost two? Yeah. yeah. We lost a couple of decent. I lost a good one. Suspended. Oh, nice. You got the Garmin going. Yeah. You showing any fish right now? Uh, no, I don't think so. I was going to see if you could take a look at it and see if... If you need up any tuning up, yeah, we you could seem like you probably know what you're doing with it. I have no idea, so. Mike, what you got going on here? Some cut nugget. Wow! Now you're speaking my language. Look at the size of them, beauty. 
That was a big shock, huh? Oh yeah. It smelled good. The alarm's going. Yeah. It's sticking to the pan? Yeah. Yeah. Joel, does that look all right to you? Yeah, okay. looks good. Did you get any fish today, bud? Ah, uh, yeah, four of them. Four, four nice. Lost two. A few good hits. Are they coming and going in groups? Uh, no, they've just... been pretty steady on the finders. <laughs> so which Garmin unit is this one? Uh, the Striker Vivid 5. Striker Vivid 5, and then what unit is this one? That's Vex Vexilar. Vexilar. That's the FL30. Is that the new one? Broadband, yep, it's the newest one. You liking it? Oh yeah, I love it. Because you can zoom in. I got it zoomed in at the bottom six feet. Just on me. Wind's ripping. Mm -hmm. What the boys got? Jesus. <laughs> this this Joel? He just caught two big ones like that. Well, oh, the other one was bigger. Yeah. Back to back. And they are just hooked up! Oh, he's looking pretty good on the screen. Number what? Number five hooked up? Yep, if you don't. Yeah. Fell in them. Don't count your eggs before they hatch. Never count them until I get them. You could stick that right on bottom. Oh, really? Yep. Build that airplane jig. I don't think you can do that with that, though. I think you gotta keep it moving. That's why I just keep this thing on. Yeah. You can move it. You can... That's my first bite in like two hours. <laughs> yeah, since we left, right? We should have stayed in the shack. I know. Tomorrow. Never leave fish to find fish, right? It's the Florida law. So, that's my biggest, I think. I'm running out of batteries. So Dude, he's flipping out. Random quick. Nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a pretty one. I'll take him. Heck yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. And he goes. Oh, base head shakes. Oh. Yeah? Good one? Yep. Stay on, baby. Yeah, this would be my biggest fish. There's another one down there. I'm dropping down. Oh yeah, there's another one suspended in the same oh, he's spot. He's taking drag. Got a good one on. I'll try to get down to that other one. This one's heavy. I think this will be my biggest. Dark fish, long. You choke that thing. Oh yeah, look at this one. Good one. Yep. Oh yeah. Wow, look how dark, dark. that is. Yeah, well, these are the fish. We learned that these are the fish that are chasing the smell. Oh no, the dark ones are up top because they get that shiny color, color being down bottom. Oh yeah, that one's wicked pretty. Nice laker. Yep. Nice, good nice. one. Yep. This has been a fish or five. I get you the six? Yep. Nice. You're doing pretty good since we got you. Yeah, good job. Add to the number board. Yeah, this is tiny. That was another fish. Reel up to him. Was that another fish? Yeah, 140. Or was that your bait? Oh, you got fish all over you. I'm not showing up that long. Got a little, little tyke on. Huh? Got a little tyke on. Little tiny guy? Little tyke, yeah. Little junior. 
for the one I just filled up. You can see some about 12 inches. It's going up like a rocket. Oh gosh. Alright, I'm hooked up. I've got some wicked head shakes on him. Really? Could he be decent? I don't think he's decent. Unless you, unless you hooked him. Sometimes you hook him bad. I don't think he's decent. But what he's... number is that, Joe? If I five? land him, it'll be six? five or six. I think it's six. But I'm at five. I'm at seven. Three. Four. I think it's only five. Yeah, but I'm at seven. I mean, he might end up being a decent fish. Yeah, he's decent. Is that you going down or 90, another? Yeah, he's at 90. Yeah. Yeah, he's making some big... Big march down there. Yeah, you can get a good shot of him right down the hole. Yeah. See him yet? Yeah, he's a decent fish. Got some nice head shakes. Oh, yeah. I think it just turned off. I don't know. Oh, it's still recording. Yeah. It just shuts the. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Feels alright. Burping? Yep. Nice. Oh, look at how fat he is. <laughs> wow. Nice fatty. Look at him puking up. He's puking up those leg suckers. Alright. That's a nice fish. Not bad, huh? Nice fatty. Oh, sorry about your no. drink. No! <laughs> there goes the Celsius. <laughs> Friggin' Joe's fist is so <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Uh, oh, okay, what are you gonna call her? Huh? What are you gonna call her? Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Nothing, what are you doing? Oh, you got him? It's tiny. Tiny? No, I'm going to school. Oh, you are? Yeah, I was going to go earlier, but then I ended up going to Chelsea, so we went on our project. And I was just at Chelsea, and she has to bring um, Rhea to the hospital. She's like, chasing. Little gunner? Just a little. Little guy? Good. You can hit him. Oh, it's already taping. It is taping? Yeah, I'm going to school. I have a test at 3.30, so I'm going to take you there. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're doing, we're catching a decent amount of fish now. Uh, you're in the YouTube video right now. <laughs> Ask her if she wants to be on YouTube. You want to be on YouTube? <laughs> Famous country girl. <laughs> uh, you have to, she has to yell, look at that fish in about 10 seconds. Yeah, you gotta yell, look at that fish in about 10. Oh, I got oh, a double. double. We double finally up. got a double. We, we got a double. Haley, you are such good luck. Yeah, this is what happened the other day. I have two fish. I got two flags and I caught two browns. This no is, way. This is a big fish. This is a fat one. All right, I'm going to call you later, babe. Yeah, it's fine. Thanks, babe. <laughs> bye. All right, bye, love you. Nice. I missed this guy twice, I think. I oh, my God. He's all <laughs> over me. Look at this. He pooped all over me. <laughs> That's brutal. How's yours coming? It's a big fish. Is it? Yeah. I gotta see this first. I guess she was a good lot. Yeah. <laughs> He's a keeper. You say a good one? Yeah, he feels pretty heavy. This is number eight for you, I think. That's our first double, finally. Oh, boy. Get a look at him? You need a hand landing him? Deep color. No, I got him. You got him? Definitely my biggest of the day, I think. Really? Uh, I don't know. It's moving some water. 22, 23. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Right, that's a nice one. Oh, perfect. Good release. He's about to poop. <laughs> Stop moving. 
Oh, dude, you hit the back wall with that. <laughs> oh. He's spraying the poop all over you. <laughs> oh, man. Out of boy! Good money. Sir. Bring him over! We can double, we're doubled up! This one ain't a good one, but. It doesn't look good. It's a bite. He's not that far, if you can hear him yelling. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. yeah. This is this baby. When I went out and took a piss, I think I hit the side of his tent. <laughs> <laughs> Here's small enough. Yeah. It's nice when we get to about 20 feet, the tail kind of thing, but... Well, he's not that small, but he's fat. Yeah, he's not that small. Still on you. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, he stopped. Dropping more on. He might oh, he's still coming. Yeah, he might hit you. I'm dropping on him. Is he coming for me or is that you? No, he's coming for me. Oh, he got him. Ah, that a boy. Oh. You, you had about four seconds before I was in the mix. Nice. Good one? Yeah, decent. Need a hand landing? No, I don't. I love when they chase like that. That was the first real good chase we've had from the bottom. Got that on video, I think, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, he came about 40 foot up. I had to work for him though. Yeah, drop, he, drop it under him, bring it back up. Yeah, you did a great job on him. Hey. Great job, buddy. Ooh. Get him topside. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah? You need a hand? Oh, he's taking drag. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, don't go loose on me. No, no, no. Tighten her up, tighten her up. Tighten up, Brandon, tighten up. Big head chicks. Oh, no, he's just freaking out. Not a big one? No. He just freaked out into the hole. Oh, nice oh yeah, good one. Sure, the folks that. that was pretty good Absolutely for coming up. Look, that thing's gone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that screw is starting to come out. We gotta get the fish report. Did we win or lose? We had, what did we have, 15? Yeah. 15. Oh, we won. I got, I got 11. So, we, we got 18. You got 18. Yeah. So, I'll do, we gotta do a two day total. Yeah? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like a plan. Wow. Two day total. Yeah. And I was like, was it all right in the shack last night? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. I slept in just t shirt. I might have, should have put a sweatshirt on. Yeah. Because it got down to like three or two. Which is, that's, there a was heat, no that's a heat wave compared to what you've been in. Right? Oh my god. That's why I went to bed with just a t shirt on. I woke up, I don't know, one or something. I was like, I might have to button this yeah. sleeping bag up a little bit. <laughs> we are done for the day on lake trout. And what do we have? A three fish lead on the, on the elders? I think we're looking at a three fish lead on the elders. Yeah. All right, we're going to head to do some cusk fishing tonight. We got a little ride ahead of us. Uh, that's about it. We want to try to get down there before it gets too dark. Let's go. Bad pressure ridge.
Yeah, that's open water right there. Hey! Let's go! Either way, we still got to come back across it, and if it opens up, we're screwed. If it opens up more, we're screwed later. Yeah, that's true. Well, we couldn't get where we wanted to, but we're not going to die trying. No, it's not worth it. Dude, I just caught one on my sounder. No bull. I dropped the sounder down and just caught this cusk. I, guys, I I can't tell you that I don't believe it because I do believe it because I saw it. But I literally caught that guy on this sounder right here. He's still connected. And the hook's through the line. And got him right there. How I got the hook in them. He must have taken a shot at it. We'll throw him in there and eat him for dinner. All right. Let's try to sound this hole again. Let's try it again. All right. Anybody hit that? Nope. Okay, so it's only about five foot deep here. We don't need that weight on there. We got another flag. She is blowing straight sideways out here, guys. It is not nice. It was supposed to be nice, but it's not. No, we don't care, we're out here. Let's take a look. No movement. That doesn't mean anything. not running mine don't either put your flags going down oh, yeah, on he's there. on there oh, huh. that one we don't really need to eat do you need four sips or you got some dinner time here you go it's a cheese knife I cut steak last night so there might be steak on it. okay give you guys a little update we could not get to the cusk spot that we wanted to get to oh. it's another couple miles but the, we started hitting pressure ridges that were really bad and I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear something like this but it's just not worth it to try to jump one of those pressure ridges with the snowmobile and the with the boy here all our gear and our lives so we just called an audible we looked on navionics and found a spot that we thought would be comparable so we're on a big rock hump over here and first drop i nailed that one on the sounder and then brandon just caught that little guy so we're hoping there's some big ones here too i got a feeling there are usually it's mixed sizes they're not a one size fits all on a hump so I've had a couple flags, could be a small one tripping me. Not sure what it is. Oh, something just swimming by the jig. See it? Oh yeah. Oh, we'll see what this is. Oh, that's got some size to it. See if I can give this attention. 
cool is that? Yeah. It's, it looks pretty big. Yeah. Might no bait there. Might have to put that rattle trap on and get, get, really get their attention. Well, that, that didn't really amount to much, but something swam by on the live scope. So we're in here, we're about to eat some snacks for dinner. We didn't really plan it out too well or we would have had something <laughs> cooked out ahead of time, but I grabbed some crackers and cheese and pepperoni. We'll work on that while we're pulling flags. We'll check every 15 minutes or so out there. It's, it's about 6.45 right now and it's pretty cold. The wind is ripping. She's blowing straight sideways out there. It's it's something else. So we're, we're not expecting that, were we? No. It was supposed to be kind, but she's not very kind right now. But I got Brandon's tow jig down there right now and we'll give that a little while before I switch over to a rattle trap if nothing if nothing comes in interested on it. I'll put something louder and try to call something in. That's a Yep. You can see him swimming. Got him. Nice. Got him. All right, you're in charge of the that's, GoPro. That's a good one. Yeah, he's deep. Oh, no. No, you got him. He's in the hole. No, I lost him. I lost him. I got hooked on the ice oh. right there. Oh, this is that damn hook that's opened up. It's not moving. Oh, there she rolls. Yeah, she's starting to roll. Literally just went up as I was next to it. Just barely moving like a little tiny guy. You can still see it, but you can see it. I'm not going to mess around with this it. This is our third flag. Yeah, I don't want to go around. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, man. Already? Oh, he's working out of the rocks. I thought was out this Oh, man. Got him. Got him. Got him. Well, this looks good. He's all right. He's not huge. He's a little guy. He was in those rocks pretty good. Not quite an eater, I don't believe. Where's your grandmother? Yeah, that's the size of a perch. All right, little eel, we'll see you later. Yeah, but it hasn't hooked up. I think I'm doing my rubber band now. I'll give you this. Yeah, made it to the rubber oh, band. He's there, he feels small. small. Yeah, another small one. Ah, a little oh. bit bigger. Not by much. You can eat that one. Ah, it's close. Yeah, he's edible. He's edible. You can't beat them cuss nuggets. No, that's the trouble. I'm catching them. Don't numb him. Give me the old Chuck Norris chop. That's number four for us. Not counting the one I lost. On the jig rod. Maybe, maybe I'll have a flag. That'd be cool. You got a flag, buddy? It's off to the side pretty good. Yes, sir? No, I got him. Don't feel that big. Not another midget. Oh, that's an eater. That's an eater. Yep. They're getting bigger. Wow, that's a pretty one, isn't it? Yep. Beautiful. This one. Another high flyer, same hole. I'll give you this. Got it. Hope this is a big one. Hopefully they keep getting bigger. This is the one with the rocks. Oh, we're right to the rubber band already. That's a good sign. Oh man, I can't even pull up. Oh, that's a big fish. It's in the rocks. Got him? Kinda. Like a heavy pound test. Not super heavy. No. I think it's 12. I think I'll kick it. Oh. Oh. You, you broke my line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my bad. Oh. That was a giant. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna reset him. Thanks for grabbing me a hook, Brandon. We are, that black's been up every single time we've checked, but I made a little bit shorter What's leash it? for him and see if we got, oh, another one up. We just walked by that one. It's like our eighth, seventh or eighth flag, isn't it? I could, I lost down. I just know we got five on our top side. This one is the one where I caught it on the fountain. Oh, look at it making ice, huh? Yeah. Holy cow. Pretty raw. Yeah, she is. Someone's oh. on that one, oh, yeah. Got oh, him? yeah. Decent? Jeez. Ooh. Decent fish? Ah, uh, maybe. He's close. I don't think he's that big. Either you did. Oh, it's a lake trout. No, it's not. Did you see him? It looks all like a lake trout. Did it? I didn't get a good look. Or a really colorful cusk. Decent size, whatever it is. Oh, small cusk. Yeah. Wicked brown. Yeah. Close to eater size. He's borderline. Those are the big females. I know what. We're into the males. The little guys had. Nothing. Feels like he stripped me. Didn't strip it. Ate some of it though. Oh, it's the lucky trap. It is the lucky main trap. I just kept that one. Over to the band. Little guy. Little guy. Yeah, this one was actually pretty deep. Toad. Yeah, it is a toad. <laughs> Lake trout. Number eight for the day. Look at all the marks on them. Yeah. Oh, the hook's right there. He tried to take it and run, didn't he? That's pretty sweet. Lager. I think it was a fright from Ross. Number eight for the day. Could be points. All right, guys, we are picking up. That's it for us tonight. It's about 9.30. What do we have, eight degrees? Yeah, eight Wind degrees. finally stopped. Got pretty nice. Got a flag up here. Oh, yeah. Decent? Nope. Not quite either size. He's nasty. Let's let him grow. Let him go, let him grow. Well, Brandon, I had to teach you some cusk fishing tonight. Yeah, that's okay. I, I, I taught you what a toad fish. There weren't, there weren't much for size, but you got me by three toad. I got you by seven cusk. About even, I guess. Yeah. No. Hey, we'll, 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 nah, we'll, that was a fun day. We'll, we'll see about tomorrow. Tomorrow, is a, we're going to have to go hard tomorrow yeah, to, be, we, we gotta, to we gotta beat be, those we guys. we got to beat the old guys. Yeah. They're coming after us. They're home. They're home in bed right now, sleeping, getting rest while we still got another hour or two to pick up. Get off the lake and get home. You all set? Yeah. All, all right, buddy. I'll see you in a couple hours. Yeah, I'll see, see you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Whew, all right. Made it back, it's 10 o'clock. We're looking at eight degrees above zero Fahrenheit. Pretty chilly in here. I'm tired. I don't know if I'm even gonna eat dinner tonight. I'm that tired. It's just trip after trip and day, long day ice fishing. Believe it or not, can take a lot out of you early to late. 
I am gonna, I think I'm gonna cook something off. I'm definitely gonna get my coffee ready right now. I probably should have done that before I left today. It's frozen. Oh, let's hope this has got, it's not completely frozen. Pretty awesome day guys. Ended up with eight lake trout counting that last one. And geez, I don't even know how many cusk. I caught a handful of cusk, got three keepers out of the deal. Um, there's no size limit in Maine, so I could have kept them all, but I like a certain size to start with. So I'm looking forward to eating those up again tomorrow for lunch. Tomorrow we're gonna go at it. We got a little competition going, Brandon and I versus the two older guys. We'll see how we do. I think we got a two or a three fish lead on them right now. So not a whole heck of a lot, but a little bit. That should be fun. I think I'm gonna put my coffee together and drink a little bit of hot tea with some honey in it. And maybe think about like a quick bowl of soup or something for dinner. That might not be a bad idea. Nope, coffee's frozen right in there. Got it, nice, all at once. That's pretty good coffee. We'll try some more of that for tomorrow. Yeah, so all in all, pretty pretty great day, I'd say. Those, the Togue right now and Sebago are really finicky. I think a lot of people will tell you that they're seeing, if they're running electronics, they're seeing a really, really high amount, but they're not hooking a lot of them. And you can see why when you catch one and if you go to burp them, they puke out a ton of alive or smelt, whatever they're eating. So they're they're loaded with bait and gorged on alive. So they don't really have to eat. I think it's just a togue being a togue when they do bite. They're not really hungry. They're just really glutton right now. But it's fun. It's different. It's a different way to catch them for me. You know, catching fish at 168, 170 foot deep is not something that you practice very often if you don't live on this lake. And it's not something that, you know, you see many other places, I guess, in the U.S. So it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool to catch them that deep. Tomorrow, I will go into more in depth on the gear we're using and the lures we're using and the techniques we're using because there's quite a few different things and i'm learning as i go brandon's teaching me some i'm developing some for myself so tomorrow we'll go into a lot more in depth on on gear and technique and we're also in a little bit of a competition we got either two or a fish three fish lead on the older guys and those guys are good they know what they're doing so we it'll be a lot of fun it's fun to have a little bit of competition with fishing they kind of go hand in hand sometimes. Thanks for tuning in guys. So far so good on Sebago. Uh, ran into a little bit of trouble with some pressure, pressure ridges showing up today and opening up. We weren't able to get to the cusk spot so we had to find a new one. And then I was a little bit worried coming back to camp that I wasn't going to be able to make it back to camp because of the pressure ridge opened up. But I hugged it really close to the island and I was good to go.